Hello guys, welcome to EGTV Presence Tech. We another episode. In this episode, I'll show you guys how you can mount a local data store on the ESXi host. It means that like if you have a two or three partition in your uh, physical machine, like if you have a multiple hard drive and you can create multiple types of RAID, that means multiple types of partition. So maybe, say for example, you have six hard drive, right? So two hard drive, you make one RAID, and another two hard drive, you make another RAID. Another two hard drive, you make another RAID. That means you have total three RAID configured, and that means it's a three partition. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys practically, actually, what does it mean? And then how actually, when you have a multiple types of partition, maybe two partition, maybe three, but one of the partition, you're gonna install ESXi, and then after install the ESXi, when you log into the ESXi, you're gonna see only one data store where you install the ESXi. That one is uh, that one is gonna be show you on the um, the host console, um, BSPR host client. But you have another two partition or maybe three partition, maybe four partition, which is not showing. And then how are you gonna show them? That's called a mount. So how you can mount your local data store or maybe you can say how you can claim it right so let let's get started and, and i'll show you in practical okay so if you think okay just give me a second so think about uh i'm just showing from the beginning like all of you guys whoever like if you know how to create a um, RAID. So maybe you, you, are, you will be familiar with this screen, um, but if you don't know about it, I have a, a separate video for how to create a RAID. So in this demonstration, I have uh, I have created two RAID, RAID 0, and, uh, and the second one also RAID 0, but um, in reality, in enterprise level, I ever like recommend to create a RAID 0. But this is my home lab. I need more hardware, more space. That's why I did 0, but don't do it with the RAID 0. Try to go with RAID 5 or 6. You can get like more uh, fault tolerance, right? So anyway, so RAID 0 and RAID 0, I have two partitions, but this is the smallest space and this one is the biggest space. Like it's almost 1.6 terabyte. And this one is only 136 gigabyte. So I have a plan to install ESXi on this space uh, because for the ESXi, I don't need that much because you, as you know, ESXi, when you install the ESXi, it will consume four point something gigabyte only and max like the storage you can um, assign or reserve for the ESXi, maybe 10 gigabyte is enough. But anyway, I have more than that, that's fine. So I'm going to install ESXi here, and after I install the ESXi here, um, when I log into the my ESXi, it shows only this storage, not this one. So how I can claim this storage, how I can claim this storage, that's what I'm going to show you. That's called a mounting, how you can mount a local data store. So let's start this machine, and it's going to take a little bit of time. I'll pause the video in, in the meantime. Okay, let's restart the machine. So if we restart the machine, okay. And then follow this monitor. This is the KBM console, like virtual KBM through the iDRAC. All right, so my SXI uh, booted up. So I need to just log into the SXI host. So my SXI host IP. So whatever the IP address you have on your SXI, you can just have your SXI IP address. And then log in with your credentials, like the root uh, user is by default root and password is your password whatever you provide. So 
So when you first time logged in to a machine, uh, I actually logged in a uh, second time here. So when you first time log in, it's gonna show you a, like, it will show you another screen and it's gonna block the whole this screen. Join to uh, like CP something with the BMR, just uncheck it and click okay. And so now here, everything like virtual machine shows zero because I don't, this is a like fresh installation. There's no BM, this is the first time I logged in and data store shows only one you see that there's data store zero one which is the partition the one i did is the like a hard drive 136 gigabyte right so in that um and that one i install sxi um so i don't want to this is the local storage right and also this is only one i have two partition but in here it shows only one right but another one is not showing here how you can claim that one that's what i'm trying to show that's that's called how you can mount a local data store right you can claim it and then you can mount it right so the process is you have to right click on the storage and click new and then create a new bmfs data store so bmfs means virtual machine file system and this is a BMR, um, this is the BMR standard for the data store. And so select it and then click next and provide a name for it. So I know this is um, a local storage, local. So this one is my second local data store, right? I can name it local data store local data store so i can have like this or i can maybe have local underscore data store underscore and my sxa host what is my sxa host my sxa host name is slv master host zero one so this is the name i provided it it's up to you why I mentioned about, oh, not only that, local data store zero two, this is the whole zero two, right? And host number zero one. So on host number zero one, there is number two. That's what I mentioned here. The reason I mentioned here, because in your environment, if you work for a company, maybe you can have uh, 10, 50, 20, or maybe 70 SXA host. So each and every host, if it has a, a local data store and if you add all of them in a cluster so you're going to see local storage local storage, local storage, but how you're going to define which local storage is for what so that's why it's a standard if you can maintain but if you don't maintain it you just say data store zero to a data store whatever you want you can do it but i always recommend to have a nice name which is like something meaningful okay click next and useful disk if you want you can customize you can you can you, you can just assign now it totally it has 1.64 terabyte but out of 1.6 terabyte if you want you can um, have like only 1.5 terabyte now and rest of the space you can leave as a unused or unutilized so but you don't need to do actually so and also the data store uh, bmfs is in the version is 6 for esxi 6.7 you go with the 6 just simply click next and finish. Yes. So you see it's created. And also the first one I can change it. I, I can rename it, uh, rename here. So I can say this one is a local data store, local data store zero, one. So I know zero one is in my SXA and zero two is my. You see the data store number zero two, but host number zero one. Both are on host two, host one, right? So this is the standard if you can maintain. So and this is how you can um, mount the data store. This is this is the way. And that's all. So. Um, in my next video, I will show you 
how you can actually upload uh, a file is successful, like uh, upload any kind of ISO file to a data store. So it will be my next video and that's all. Thank you, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give a, give a big thumbs up and also make some comments because uh, your comments make uh, like encourage me a lot to make more videos for you guys. And also, if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.